lot of comedians are fat, you know? I'm maybe the second or third fattest person in the comedy scene, thanks to other big guys. I don't have confidence issues, but I do find it weird when a woman picks me in a room full of men. So it's like every time without fail, they're like, yeah, that guy, officer. Sorry I'm late, guys. I just got done churning butter. <laughs> Since I started, it's been the only thing I've chased other than tail. Once you break that seal, it's kind of, there's like a point of no return for a lot of people, I think. Life is tough, but doing stand-up comedy is the most fun I could possibly have. I was hooked from the beginning. Yeah, I think just a lot of people don't understand stand-up comedy. I think it's not that well known. People just think you go up there and talk. They don't understand the craft to it. Uh, I mean, we're all fucked up. I think this whole generation is fucked up. <laughs> I lived in a van uh, for the first four months here in town. And then I got a room for rent over a bar. Everyone's got anxiety. Uh, everyone is, just has a lot going on. You know, been into a psych ward, out of a psych ward, had that experience. I make a big point of like letting people know about the fact that I am on the autism spectrum and I'm also mentally ill, except for when I'm doing comedy shows because I don't want y'all to be scared to run away. Listen. When people say I've been through a really hard time and your comedy like got me through this hard time, I think like that's the biggest compliment you can get as a comedian. To give people an opportunity to not feel alone is very empathetic and loving even if you do it with a bunch of fucks and assholes in the conversation. All right, guys, you ready for your next comedian?